What's up guys this is Sean Heather and today we got Huawei Nova 7i smartphone with us. We are going to perform a quick unboxing of its retail box. We will have a look on the device inside, its design, highlighted features, specs and we are going to do all of the usual unboxing stuff in this video. So let's start it. So here is the retail box of Huawei Nova 7i. Let me tell you that this is the exact same device that was launched earlier as Huawei Nova 6SE. So both are the same devices in different region. They are launched with different names, either Nova 6SE or Nova 7i. So this is the front side. You can see here is the Huawei branding, the name of the device. And here we got an icon and the text that this device comes with Huawei App Calgary. So I would like to mention that this device does not come with Google Play Store. So you will have to use the app gallery to install whatever application you need. So on the sides, once again, we got the Huawei Nova 7i branding. Here on the back side, we got the information that it got 128 GB storage, 8 GB RAM. The color variant is crushed green and this is the model number. So let's open the box and let's see what we got inside. Huawei Nova 7i in crushed green. So here is the SIM card tray ejector pin and a silicon case, a USB Type-C cable, 40 watt Huawei supercharge power adapter, and here we got a 3.5 mm earphone as well. So these are the stuff we got inside the retail box of Huawei Nova 7i, a smartphone, a charger, earphone, USB Type-C cable, SIM card tray ejector pin, and silicon TPU case. So here is the Huawei Nova 7i in crushed green color variant. So let's switch on the device and while it's booting up for the very first time, I'm going to tell you about few of the hardware specs that it comes with. Kirin 810 processor, 8 GB RAM, 128 GB storage. It got a nano memory card slot as well. And then we got a 6.4 inch full HD plus screen with 398 PPI. And then what we got here is quad camera setup. So we will have a look on it after a few minutes. And then on the front side, we got a 16 megapixel front facing camera. And the fingerprint sensor is provided embedded on the power key the battery capacity is 4200 mAh and as we have seen that it comes with 40 watt super charge power adapter so now let's go through all of these quick sets and then we will talk more about this device and here we go so this is the Huawei Nova 7i so first of all let's talk about the design on the front side we got a 6.4 inch full HD plus screen that caught a punch hole here on the top left corner. The screen to body ratio is pretty good but still you can see a bit of bezels on the sides and a very narrow bezel at the bottom. So this is the thickness of the bezels on the side and here at the bottom. At the top the bezel is as thick as the sides of the device. Here at the top we got an earpiece, a set of sensors on this corner. At the top there is a microphone provided. At the bottom there is a speaker grill, primary microphone, the charging port, the USB Type-C port and there is a 3.5 mm port provided as well. On the left side there is the SIM card tray slot. On the right side we got the volume rocket and the power key that also got the fingerprint sensor embedded in it. On the back side you will find the quad camera setup, Huawei branding at the bottom the regulatory information below the Huawei branding and after that there is nothing much on the back side but it looks very beautiful and actually it reminds me of the Huawei Mate 20 series of devices in emerald green color variant but unlike those devices the back panel of Huawei Nova 7i is very flat there is no texture on the glass as we have seen on the Mate 20 series smartphones like Mate 20 Pro, Mate 20X etc. So in terms of design, Huawei Nova 7i is quite premium looking. The screen to body ratio is good. You got a punch hole camera on the screen. The bezels are pretty thin and minimal. 
the fingerprint sensor provided on the power key that's very easily reachable. Another good part about the design of Aveno 7i that it comes with a 3.5mm jack and there is a memory card slot provided as well but you will have to use a special nano memory card developed by Huawei for this purpose. The back is very beautiful and premium looking. The reflection of the light on the back panel is gorgeous but the camera module is pretty elevated from the back panel of the device and while keeping the device on a flat surface you will have to keep this thing in mind. But once you put the case but once you put the provided case on your Huawei Nova 7i, you can see that the issue of elevated camera module is getting resolved and actually the camera module is going a bit lower compared to the flat surface of this case here. The back panel merges with the chassis of the device that is in matte finish and it looks beautiful from every angle. So in terms of design, Huawei Nova 7i is a premium looking smartphone. The device is pretty lightweight because the back panel is made of plastic and also the chassis is made of plastic. So since there is no glass or metal, the device is pretty lightweight, easy to handle. The fingerprint sensor is placed at a very nice location where you can use it perfectly without any issue. And now let's talk about the screen. So as we have already discussed that it comes with a 6.4 inch Full HD Plus screen. There is punch hole where you will find the 16 megapixel camera. Screen to body ratio is pretty good but we got a bit of bezels at the bottom and it's pretty narrow and thin as well. The rest of the bezels are very thin as well so screen to body ratio is huge and because of that the front side looks very beautiful. And when it comes to display quality you can see that it's pretty sharp. You will get around 400 ppi on this device and because of that the viewing experience is going to be good as well. Also the viewing angles are very nice and you can easily use the device from any angle without having any issue. So you can see that how nice is the viewing angle. And talking about the brightness, it looks pretty bright as well. So this is the maximum brightness. I increased it manually. Here you will get the idea on the white screen that how bright it is. And if you're talking about the minimum brightness, it is this low. So this is very good you don't even have to use the night mode to use the device at night all you have to do is just reduce it to the minimum brightness and you can use it very easily so this is the minimum and this one is the maximum brightness on huawei nova 7i and the touch screen sensitivity is pretty nice as well and this is an important factor because it comes with gesture navigation so if the touch screen sensitivity is not good then the gesture navigation won't work properly so these are the things we have to consider when it comes to screen and it seems that Huawei Nova 7i is quite good in all of these factors now let's talk about the OS and user interface because it's very important point here as Huawei Nova 7i does not come with Google Play Store so what you got here is the Huawei app gallery and this is what you will have to use to install the applications that you want on your Huawei Nova 7i and the rest of this stuff what we got here is Huawei themes, music, videos, support, health, email files. There is a top apps folder where you will find some useful applications once again like news, office mobile from Microsoft then we got optimizer, gallery and calendar. We got a dedicated ride mode as well that you can use while riding your bike or cycle to get less distraction from your smartphone. You will have a look on it later. Then there is a tools folder where you will find some useful apps. Again, Vigo app is pre-installed and if you go to the settings, you can see all of these features and options that we got. We will have a look on all of them in our later videos. But if we go to the about phone section here, so here you can see that this device is Huawei P40 Lite actually. So this is the exactly same device as Nova 7i and it is also the same device as Huawei Nova 6 SE. So all of these are the same devices so don't get confused. Just depending on your region you will get either Huawei P40 Lite, Nova 7i or Nova 6 SE. So talking about the Emotion UI version it's 10.0.1, Android version is 10, 
The device is powered by Green 810 processor. The amount of RAM is 8 GB. Internal storage is 128 out of which 114.77 GB is free, so nearly 13 GB is pre-occupied by the ROM and pre-installed application and the security patch level we got is of January 2020. So just like any other Huawei smartphone, Huawei Nova 7i is also very feature rich based on Emotion UI ROM. The only drawback here is that there is no Google Play Store but if it is not so important for you to use Google applications then Huawei app can record most of the popular applications and games but again maybe you won't find all of your favorite application on Huawei App Gallery. Huawei is trying to improve it but still this is something that we need to know about before buying the device. And now let's talk about the camera. So Huawei Nova 7i comes with 48 megapixel primary camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 2 megapixel dedicated macro lens and 2 megapixel depth sensor for portrait photography. And here we got an LED flash and right next to it you can see there is a branding for AI quad camera. And then we got the information regarding the aperture etc so if you launch the camera application this is the user interface you will find so it comes with photo video portrait mode if you got night mode there is AR lens provided as well where you can use all of these lenses we got 3d qmoji as well if you go to more here you will find more options like we got pro mode slow motion panorama aperture light painting, HDR, time-lapse, moving pictures, stickers, documents and super micro mode because as we have just seen we got a 2 megapixel dedicated macro lens so it makes sense to have a super micro mode. And then here you can download more camera modes using this option but you will have to connect to the internet first. If you go back from here then in the photo mode you can see that we got the flash option, we got some filters and here at the setting you will get lots of options. We will have a look on all of them in our detailed camera review of Nova 7i and then what we got here is the Huawei AR lens. So if you tap on it you will have to activate it. Uh, not the AR lens but AI lens. So I'm just gonna take a few pictures of this Mate 30 Pro here by Huawei Nova 7i and let's see how good it's going to be. So the focusing speed is pretty nice. And now let's have a look on these pictures that we have just captured. So very nice amount of detail here we are getting. You can even see the dust particle on the camera modules I got here on my Mate 30 Pro. Also, it's very much in focus and once again, lots of detail here. Once again, so much detail on the back panel as you can see. It's pretty impressive. So the camera performance looks very nice for sure. Here we go. So you can see how much detail it got of the screen here of my Mate 30 Pro. Pretty sharp. Same here at this angle. It seems the 2 megapixel dedicated macro lens is working very nicely even though the AI mode was turned off. So I was not using the AI mode. There was no way to detect uh, the macro mode is working or not but you can see that great amount of detail we are getting in the camera performance and the color reproduction is very nice as well very much close to the real object here as you can see so this is pretty good as well and here if you have a look on the bottom of the device you can see Good amount of detail is there on the edges, the reflection of the light, everything is perfectly in focus. So the camera performance is looking really nice, especially if we have a look on this picture, the macro picture, macro shot, and here as well. Great amount of detail, dust particles and everything is coming here. So this is so good. 
So as I said, the camera performance is looking good, but I will do a detailed camera review of Huawei Nova 7i very soon to see how good it's going to be in real life scenario where we will check all of these camera modes as well. So at the first glance, everything about Huawei Nova 7i is pretty impressive. The design is beautiful. It comes with great screen to body ratio and a trendy punch hole screen. The fingerprint is embedded in the power key, which is still a unique design element on smartphones. The bezels are minimal. We got a 3.5 mm jack as well. The back panel is so beautiful. It reflects light in a very nice way. And the quad camera setup is on the top left corner, giving the rest of the back panel a very minimal but still premium and luxurious look. The camera performance at the first glance looks very impressive, catching lots of detail and great color reproduction. The only thing you need to concern about or we can say as a drawback is that there is no Google Play Store on this device but Huawei is providing the Huawei App Gallery and that's Huawei's official alternative to Google Play Store. So you will get most of these applications still on the app gallery that you can install on your Huawei Nova 7i. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification because lots of new videos of Huawei Nova 7i are going to be uploaded very soon. So I'll see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.